beautiful good afternoon everyone it's me jessica and i am here to guide you through an awesome super tabata this is our first super tabata hit workout together uh i'm being really mindful of everyone who you know just might not have a lot of equipment at home so we're gonna do total body weight exercises but I'm gonna offer ways for you to increase the challenge to yourself as we work through the interval. So you can always stay at the move that we do on round one. I'll let you know when things are changing. Option to join me. Options to return back to what worked for you. And no weights today. You can do this workout without jumping. You know I'm gonna offer you some jumping, some jumping options. You know it, okay. All right, we got three minutes till we get started. If you have a means to put on music for yourself, put on your favorite jams. Oh my gosh. I did a workout last week where I listened to this Whitney Houston remix. <laughs> and I couldn't stop moving the whole time. Even when it was time for a break, I just couldn't stop moving. Then I did a workout last week with absolutely no music or talking and it was torture to myself. So don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking you through the moves today. I know I love to be distracted by some conversation during exercise. I'm gonna bring that to you. I'm gonna bring you that distracting conversation to just keep going. I'm gonna encourage you to get weird. Get weird. I know I've told you guys I did a weight loss infomercial and uh, I won because it was a challenge. And everyone would ask me every week, like, oh my God, Jessica, how do you win every week? Like, how do you keep bringing the results? And I said that my answer was coming to these classes and acting like a total weirdo as if I was the person in the background of the group exercise video. Now, who would have thought that I'd be the person in the foreground of the group exercise video, but here we are. Here we are, so encouraging you to be your biggest weirdo. Hopefully, you're in some space by yourself, and if you're not and someone comes in and they're like, what are you doing? You can just tell them you're honoring yourself. I want you to like, you know, scream along at home. That's what I do when I work out. I turn on someone else's video and they're like, how you doing? And I scream back at the television. I'm doing great. I got this, I'm here for me. So thanks for coming here and being here for you. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, just four rounds in each move instead of eight. I know, it's the same, it's actually the same amount of time. It's the same amount of time, oops, but it just gives us a little bit more opportunity to feel the burn. How are we doing time-wise? It's 4.30. I'm gonna start my timer so I know what time it is. Do you have water? Let's grab a sip before we get started, just a teeny little sip. Mm -hmm. That just went through the hole in my chin. Okay, let's go ahead and get started nice and easy. Just a little lateral side to side step taps. I really want you to make use of some space here and start to roll those shoulders. Awesome, go ahead, get those shoulder rolls going in the opposite direction. Let's hop it out. So just hopping from one side to another. If you don't wanna hop, you can always just keep on doing this step tap, just option to increase the challenge a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Now jack it out. If you don't wanna jack, again, you can always just step out to the side. You can take out these jumps if you're not ready for them today. I'm just gonna tuck my shirt in. Modesty is key. Awesome, just warming that body up. Intentionally bringing those arms all the way up overhead and then bringing them all the way down. Make sure you're still breathing. Just a couple more jacks. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, light on those toes, last two right here, awesome. We're just gonna do some alternating knee raises. Getting a little bit of a twist in that body, getting that heart rate up by driving that knee up as high as you can. Keep it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Start to really rotate that core here towards the end. Drawing one elbow back and then the other for three. I sort of lost count. Two, one. Great work. Take those legs nice and wide. Come on down into a nice little lunge. We're just gonna shift from one side to another, working to straighten out the opposite leg. If it's easy for you to reach all the way to the floor, great. If it feels really far away, take a little bit of a forward hinge. You can bring your hands right here to your hips, starting to stretch those glutes behind you. So you're enjoying as flat of a back as you can right here. All right, pick a side, we're just gonna Come into a standing separate leg and a lunge, same side. Keep with that side. Four more, four, three. Work to get those shoulders away from your ears right now. One, let's go to the other side. Just lunge and back to the center. The dog is having a meltdown, it's okay, four more. Three, two, one. Now squat and raise, squat and lift. Four more, four, three, two, one. Awesome, lift yourself up. Great, go ahead, step those feet together. Inhale those arms up overhead. Relax one arm down to the side, just getting a nice big side body stretch. Inhale back up to center, exhale down to the other side. One more time, each side. Yes, okay, let's get right into this workout so that we have plenty of time to get some abs in at the end. So, moving expeditiously here. I'm gonna keep my t-shirt tucked in at the front like like a winner. Okay, all right, so our first move of the day, we're starting off nice and simple. We're just gonna go for a squat. We're just gonna come on all the way down and then lift up and squeeze at the top. So at the top, I really want you to squeeze those glutes, push those hips forward. At the bottom, you're really reaching those hips behind you. That's it, if you prefer, you can go work Build those glutes a little bit more, pointing those toes out, coming into more of a goddess squat that's going to work more of your glutes. Legs closer together, it's going to work a little bit more quads and hamstrings. Alrighty, are you ready for our first 40 seconds of work? We start in three, two, one, begin. I'm going to bring my hands to my chest because that helps squeeze at the top. That helps to encourage me to keep that chest open and lifted. You can always bring your hands at your waist. If you wanna work a little bit harder, keeping those arms up overhead with your biceps right next to your ears. I want you to sit as low as you can. So really think about at the bottom, using that exhale to go a little bit deeper. You got about 10 seconds left. Finding a pace that works for you. If you've got some music going and you can go to the beat, Go for it, take a break. That is also one of the great things about listening to music. I work a little bit harder when that music's going. All right, next up, you can either stick with your squat and lift, or we're gonna stay low. We're just gonna sidestep in our squat, and I want you to come a little bit deeper each time. Begin, but we're never standing up all the way. We're just staying low. Make sure that that weight is in your heels. And as you start to lift up, you're pressing through your heels. Gonna work the glutes, the hamstrings, 
a lot more with that weight in your heels. You're still gonna feel the squat if you start to bring that weight forward. But I want you to come back tomorrow. So let's give that good form. Be safe, really stretch those hips back. Awesome, keep it up. Last couple seconds, three, two, one. Feel free to shake it out however you want when you stand up. All right, you can stick with that or we're just gonna add in a hop. Just gonna go straight from squats to jumps. You can keep your jump really little. Four, three, two, one. So you don't stand all the way up if you're keeping your jump really little. If you want, you can do a really big jump and land light on your toes. Maybe do a little bit of a mixture. I'm doing these little jumps because I got a neighbor below me. Make sure you're still working to press through those heels though. Pressing through those heels, balls of the feet coming off last, landing first. Whew. Y'all, you got this. Five more seconds. One more round to go after this. Yay. All right, we're gonna add a little something something to that last round by putting it all together. So a nice side step, jump, side step, jump. This time going for a little bit more of extension, working to squeeze your glutes and push your hips forward. Begin. Starting with that jump, stay low. Make sure that you're still breathing. We got a little break coming up after this. You'll get to grab some water. Pressing off through those heels, making sure you're bringing them all the way back down to the floor in your squat also. Yes, keep it up here. When you're tired, keep going if you can. If you gotta slow down, if you gotta take a little jump out, can you keep moving for the full 40 seconds? You made it. Oh, grab some water. Shake it out a little. Man. Ooh, I did a glute workout. That was yesterday. Oh, wow. I'm feeling it. Feeling it big time. Let's come on down to the floor. Okay. Take a couple breaths, shake it out. We got push-ups coming up next. So if you wanna give yourself a little bit of a wrist warm up here during this break, you do what feels right for you. We got four more rounds each, each round's for 40 seconds, really finding the time. Um, we're starting off with push-ups. Now, as always with your push-up, the most basic version is gonna be here in tabletop, where you're really working to bring those shoulders forward of your fingers. You're not bringing your belly down to the floor. So, or at least leading with your belly. So at least starting here in tabletop, you can really press into those hands pumps and keep your elbows close by your body and feel them start to activate. And if you're ready to work a little bit harder, hands pumps are in line with your chest. See, I come down and my shoulders are forward of my hands palms. And if it feels good for you, you can be up on your toes. Did you enjoy that break? You are so welcome. Let's go ahead and come into our first 40 seconds of push-ups. I'm going to use my knees and my toes. You gotta do what you can with the body you have today in three, two, one. Awesome. So I'm gonna come on down on my knees and then I press myself up on my toes. I really want you to work to be lifting and lowering in one line. And if that means that you need to stay on your knees, that's fine. Do you know how long I spent working on push-ups just like this from tabletop? I feel this tabletop push-up in my triceps so well because I'm really focusing on them. Taking a little bit of a more basic form allows me to really figure out how to engage that muscle. Awesome. All right, so you can stick with just your push-up or you can add in a push-up 
and then a shoulder tap to just work on that stability a little bit. So feel free to shake those wrists out. You've got 10 seconds before we get started. Three, two, one. So your hips are in line with your shoulders. Get that one tap or a below. We're not doing down dog. So just make sure that you have that good form. Your glutes are squeezed, your belly is pulled in. We're working our upper body, particularly with this push-up. We're getting some chest, we're getting some shoulder, but you're getting some ab work too. By keeping that core contracted. Nice job, everyone. Five seconds left. Nice work. All right, so you can stick with that push-up. Oh, I'm a horrible person. You can stick with that push-up with the shoulder tap, or you can add in a push-up with a single leg mountain climber and a little bit of a hold. Three, two, one. So a push-up, and then I want you to work to bring that knee all the way to your tricep. Send it back out into your next push-up. Hold it there. Awesome. So there might be a little bit of rounding of your upper back. That's totally okay. Even if you need to come onto your knees, maybe you're a little bit more in tabletop for this climber portion. You got 10 seconds left right here. As you can see, you get in a couple less push-ups if you do the additional challenge. Take a break, nice work. All right, we're gonna put it all together this time. So you're gonna do a push-up, one of each shoulder tap, one of each knee as a slow mountain climber. This is our last round, then we get to stand up. We'll bring those heart rates up again. Three, two, one, begin. So you got a push-up, you got one of each shoulder taps, and then you've got your slow climber. Slow climber, holding for about a two count at the top. Tap it out. Slow climbers, go at your own pace, whatever works for you today. I just encourage you to keep going, to keep finding a challenge. Maybe you're just hanging out in plank. We got planks coming up later. So best of luck to you if that's your plan. But as long as you got a plan, that's all that matters. Less than five seconds to go. Keep pushing yourself right here. Awesome. You made it. Uh, okay. Take your time. Make your way to your feet. Grab another quick sip of water. Let's get those heart rates up next. We got some fast feet. Well, you know, fast feet sounds boring. Let's do our fast feet. We'll start off with some lateral fast feet because that's going to come back into play towards the end. So you're just getting those heels off the floor. You're moving those legs as much as possible. You can get those arms going. I hope you're ready. We're going to get right into it in three, two, one. Begin. Don't you love these moves that don't require a lot of conversation? I got a little forward hinge at my hips. Belly's pulled in really tight. Just keep it moving. Like you're killing bugs. Oh man, y'all, I spilled some quinoa in the kitchen before this class. I spilled it everywhere. And the worst part is it was cooked already. I spilled cooked quinoa all over the floor, inside the fridge, under the fridge. Oh, in the grates of the fridge. Take a break. I told Jen I should just move. All right, next up, we're going to add in fast feet when, and we'll do a hop. I'll say when, and you'll just jump up a little bit and then come right back to those fast feet. Ready? Begin. When. When. When? 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 
when, 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 almost there, when, 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 great job y'all, you made it. Oh, all right, this time we're gonna get a big forward hop. Use the space as best that you can and do fast feet back. If you can't get one big forward hop to the front, do like two forward hops and then fast feet to the back, begin. So maybe you get into a nice big squat at the front, meaning your heels come down for just a second and then you lift them back up. Way to go. You're worth it, you got this. I know it's burning. We got one interval left. Keep breathing. I'll give you a nice longer break after this interval of move the ends. Yes, 20 seconds to yourself. Breathe it out, maybe grab a teeny tiny sip. Okay, next we're gonna shuffle one side, shuffle to the other side, big hop, and then shuffle, shuffle, hop. Two shuffles and a hop, shuffle, shuffle, stay low, hop, shuffle. Be careful on these hops, it's a little bit more difficult to get this big side hop. That's why we warmed up with a couple lateral steps, a couple lateral jumps. Work those inner outer thighs. 10 seconds left. Get those heels up nice and high. Three, two, get this last jump in. You made it. All right, gonna give you a full minute. Ooh, a full minute to yourself. Kick it out, stretch it out, shake it out, dance it, whatever feels good. Keep some movement going though. Find your active recovery. All right. section but you know what half the time when I tell Jen or Will ahead of time yo I'm about to I'm about to die in this class it's really not that bad so let's presume that this is not gonna be so bad okay did you enjoy your break great let me tell you what's up okay you can choose which leg is gonna go first okay um, we're gonna start off with some forward and back lunges. I just added that. So one leg's gonna move, the other leg's gonna stay static. You're gonna go for the forward lunge as deep as you want, step it back together, and then the back lunge, even if you're just stepping forward and back. That's gonna be our primary move. We're sticking with one leg for the whole four rounds. And that means you know what's coming up in four minutes on the other side. Okay, your choice. I'm gonna start moving with what looks like my left leg. We start in three, two, one, begin. So that nice big forward lunge, keep your shoulders on top of your hips the best that you can. So upper body is staying nice and upright and you're working with control to bring that knee to the floor. How much can you really press through your heel to make things happen? So pressing through the heel of the front foot to stand up from the back lunge, pressing through the heel to stand up. Oh, this isn't so bad. Maybe you can go a little bit faster. Maybe you can take out stepping your feet together at the center. Three, two, one. Great news. Next up, we're just gonna pulse it out. 
you're gonna keep that static leg forward and you're gonna take the moving leg back all right get ready to just get low you know what we'll do three pulses and then we'll stand up so one two three you're welcome one two three just a little something else to focus on I want you to squeeze that back leg glute as you stand. This is a long 40 seconds. Work to straighten that leg in the front as you stand up. You got less than 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, awesome. All right, now we're gonna run it out. So that same leg that was to the back is just gonna come forward. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We're getting that heart rate up again. Take a slight bend in your standing foot. Get ready, opposites. Pull your belly in, find a hinge, go. I want you to be light with that toe touching towards the ground behind you, but I want you to find as much extension behind you as you can as well and really drive that knee up. Getting a little ab work in here too. Keep really standing in this one static leg heel. Press that heel through the floor. That glute should start to really be burning. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh, take a break. All right, we're gonna do three runs and then add in a hop. So one, two, three, hop. Add in a little knee drive if you can, or you're sticking with the forward back lunge, you're sticking with the pulse lunge, or just running three, two, begin. So one, two, three, hop. So getting a little bit more of that knee drive, and then right back into running. Pred, putting that weight through your standing leg heel. Use those arms. Get a little bit more calorie burn, burn a little bit more energy using more of that total body. Three, two, one. Oh, you made it. A little bit of a reprieve. Teeny little break, we're gonna come right into the other side. Say, sorry other side. I know it's feeling a little tired. You worked a little bit of both in that round. But you're gonna work this other side as hard as possible. So if last time you were with me and you had this left leg moving forward and back, this time, your right leg is going to move forward and back. You ready? Three, two, one. Option for those hands on your hips to help you with your balance or hands at your heart, hands up overhead. It's going to make you use those abs a little bit more. How close can you get that back knee towards the floor while still staying lifted? Still moving within control really working to press through those heels. Not just pushing off the ball of your foot to make it easy on yourself. Yay! I say yay now, but next up we've got that, that pulsing lunge, which I think this time, yup. Right leg's gonna be to the back. Three pulses, and then a lift, squeeze and straighten, begin. So one, two, three, lift and squeeze. Find one spot, focus your eyes. If you wanna like, if you've got this and you wanna dance it out a little bit in your shoulders, you've got some music going at home. Oh, more than halfway right now. Remind yourself while it gets hard right here, why did you come? 
what are you trying to do? This is where the workout is. That stuff before, before you really felt it, that was the warm up. Three, two, one. Yes, you made it. Okay, coming into that run. Opposite arm, opposite leg. This time the right leg moves. Three, two, go for it. Weight in your front heel. Take a slight bend of that front leg. Use that punch to drive that knee. Find that one spot, focus your eyes somewhere in front of you. Oh, starting to feel that burn. You're welcome. You're welcome if you're feeling that burn with me. And if you're not feeling that burn, you can squat a little bit more into that front supporting foot, into that heel. Three, two, one. Take a break. One more time through on this side. Three runs, and then a hop. We're doing great. We're doing great time-wise, y'all. Four, three, two, one. So three runs, hop. I'm gonna give you a minute after this. I'm gonna give you a minute, because we're gonna come down onto the floor after this, get some planks. So I want you to just gently walk after this to get that heart rate down a little bit. What? Why did I bring it up? Because we're working out, you guys. Come on, just over 10 seconds left right here. Find a little bit more height in that hop. Find a little bit more drive in that knee. Three, two, one. Yes! The crowd goes wild. We've only got one move left to go after this one. All right, starting our minute timer. One minute of break. Ooh. Oh, oh my glutes. My glutes and my hamstrings, don't worry. We are gonna stretch those really well when we finish the class today. Stretch it out. Okay, you're just chilling. And <clears throat> in less than a minute, we're gonna get down on the floor and we're gonna do some planks. I don't even remember what else I said we're doing. Oh. Um, remember that knee drive that we did before with our push-up? Well, it's coming back, y'all. It's coming back because I don't know about you, but I thought that that was one of the harder things that we had to do today. So we're going to come on down to the floor. We're going to start off with just a straight up plank. You can be on your forearms, you can be on your straight arms, you can be on your knees if you need to be. If you're on those knees, walk those knees out and shift the weight forward. Make sure that your hand spots are underneath of your shoulders and you can do whatever you need to do to stay in this plank. If you want to distract yourself with some hip dips side to side, if you want to add in some shoulder taps, if you want to put in a little elevator plank, you do it. I'm going to start off this first one, just regular plank, because you know those mountain climbers are coming up round two. Okay, we start in three, two, one, begin. 40 seconds of work, so no butts up to the sky. We're squeezing those glutes in, we're shifting those shoulders forward, eyes shift forward. Glutes are tight, bellies are pulled in, shoulders away from ears. Just keep breathing. Work to slow down your breath. We've got a 40 second interval, so if you've got a really slow breath, you're getting maybe six breaths in. Great news, you made it. 
All right, so next, uh, we're coming back into those planks and we're doing that big knee drive. Let's do our knee drive though to the opposite elbow this time. Four, three, two, one. So knee drive to the opposite elbow. Take a moment, hold it there. Find that little extra crunch. And if you need to bring those knees to the floor, that means that you can just focus a little bit more, hopefully, on this twist. I just, you know, wanted to show you guys that I was human. Sometimes I also need to bring my knees to the floor. And then finishing out here, three, two, one. Ah, oh, we made it. All right, coming back in to a plank. One more round of whatever kind of plank you wanna do. I'm gonna add in some knee taps just to the floor during this round. Three, two, one. So either pressing into your elbows or pressing into those hand palms, doing your best to keep those shoulders higher than or in line with your glutes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm tired. If you cannot stay in the plank, can you at least stretch one leg out at a time? Just training your body and then see if you can confuse it. Cut, try and come into the plank. All you can do is try. All you can do is try and do your best. Keep moving and take a break. All right, come in one more time. Last time into those knee drives. Oh, my upper body was so tired from workouts this weekend, I couldn't even hold the phone to Zoom with friends. All right, so coming up towards the outside in three, two, one. So big hold to the outside, hold to the outside. You can do the same thing right here from your knees. Helps you get a little bit more of that oblique crunch while you're not thinking so much about the balance. Maybe you can even tap your knee all the way to your tricep. Still working hard here. 10 seconds left to go. What are you gonna do here for the last 10 seconds of a Tabata interval today? Three, two, one. Yes. Oh, okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. We've got some time to get a little bit of ab work in. We're just going to do one minute of ab work so we can get some really great stretches today. One minute of ab work. That sounds fine, you say. I'm so glad you feel that way. Okay, so we're gonna come on down here on the floor and we're going to work towards having a delightful little hold with our feet off of the floor. Now, if having that little hold with your feet off of the floor made your back lift all the way up, then you get to have a slightly higher hold with your feet off of the floor. You can have your arms down by your side to help you feel supported. You can work a little bit harder by reaching those arms up towards the ceiling. Bringing your arms back behind you is gonna make it even more challenging. Now, just extending your legs out in front of you sounds boring. So we're gonna add some flutter kicks, but you're not kicking from your knees. You're kicking all the way down from the glutes. So legs stay nice and straight. It's not a traditional flutter kick in the pool where we're just making things happen with our ankles. We're using our whole leg to flutter. One minute of work in three, two, one. Here's a secret. If you bring your fingers right behind your butt, right under your butt, it makes it a little bit easier. So if you really felt like your back was coming up off the floor, if you wanted to try to get those feet a little bit lower to the floor, you can bring your hands under your bum. 
or you can work your abs a little bit harder by not doing that. Even if it means that you bring your feet a little bit higher. Yes, we're almost there, I bet. Oh, we're halfway. Get that quick kick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to bring my hands to the floor. Make sure that lower back is supported. That's the most important thing. I would rather that you put your thumbs under your butt than hurt yourself. We're almost there. You made it! Yes! We're gonna stay right down here on the floor to start our cool down. So go ahead and draw both of those knees in towards your chest. Whew. Use some big exhales. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. Make some gentle little circles or maybe just rock side to side. Just work to ease any lower back tension. If you've been making your circles in one direction, take a moment, make those circles in the opposite direction. And then let's take another moment right here in stillness, just drawing those knees in towards your chest. You can separate your legs. They can come to the side of your body. Awesome, go ahead, plant those feet down on the floor. Sit yourself up, bring your hands behind you. We're gonna find a nice big stretch with those hip flexors. Your hands can either point directly behind you. I like to point right out to the side. We're just gonna lift ourselves up. Press into those hands, palms, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, stretching the front side of the body. Work to slow your breath down here. We're gonna take two more slow breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale, we'll lower ourselves down on the exhale, and slowly lower yourself down, great work, turn over, ah, come onto your knees, we'll take a minute here and cat cow, Oh, find whatever cat-cow stretches work best for you. So you can go for a traditional cat-cow with your hands, palms under your shoulders. Uh, just rounding and then arching your back or maybe shaking a little bit side to side, shaking your tail, shaking your shoulders. Great. Keep your hands, palms on the floor, tuck your toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling, taking just a moment here in down dog. You can have a big bend in your knees. We're just using this for a setup. So inhale that right leg up and then draw it all the way forward. Bring it down to the mat. Release that back knee down towards the mat. And we're gonna go ahead and shift the weight forward. If it's hard for you to get your hands, palms on the floor, you can always lift yourself up. I want you to pay attention with what's happening with your front leg. You want your knee stacked about on top of your heel or arch of your foot so that you can feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors, maybe even in your glute back here as you hinge forward. All right, we're gonna change. So bringing your fingers down towards the floor, Walk your hands back. Work to sit into this hamstring stretch as much as you want. You can stay nice and passive, stay lifted here. If it feels good for you, you can sit all the way down. Beautiful, let's come forward one more time. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, reach the same leg that you have forward, that hand's gonna come down behind you. Inhale it back up. Exhale, reach it back for your opposite foot. One more time, inhale it back up. Exhale, both hands down towards the floor, tuck your back knee under, lift yourself up, just stay here for a moment. 
in your lifted lunge. Keep your outside hand down on the floor and open up into a nice twist. Find that big stretch on the outside of your glute. Feels so good. Change. Bring that hand down. Send your right foot back. One more moment up and down dog. Then left leg goes up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale, exhale as you bring that left leg forward. Release your right knee down towards the floor, untuck your toes. Check out what's happening with this um, left knee. Knee stacked on top of your ankle or shin. So you can shift forward, get this big stretch in your hip flexor. Find a nice little stretch in that glute as well. Take a couple breaths right here. All right, release your hands down to the floor, walk yourself back, come into the stretch in your hamstring that works best for you. You can stay here lifted. I like this stretch. I feel it really well staying lifted, bringing my belly towards my thigh. You can always sit yourself up if that's really uncomfortable and just flex your toes back towards your face. Start to bring the stretch into your calf as well. You do have that option to sit all the way down if that feels good for you. For me, that kind of takes the stretch away feels nice no it's relaxing just missing a lot of the stretch on the back of the leg awesome we're going to shift forward one more time inhale those arms up overhead same leg that you have forward that's the arm that's going to reach back behind you towards your opposite foot you're so beautiful you're a graceful ballerina inhale both arms up exhale that left hand back towards your right foot inhale up Exhale back one more time. Inhale up to center. Exhale, release those hands down. Go ahead, stretch your left hand up towards the ceiling. Up, oh, tuck that back to under, lift it up. Yes, now I feel that a lot more in my outer thigh glute. Beautiful, bring your fingertips down towards the floor. We're going to step that right leg up to meet with our left. Take a moment right here in the dangle. Move your hips by bending one knee and then the other. Take a moment. Shake out your shoulders. Shake your head. Yes. Yes, I'm so glad I came. No, I don't want it to be over. But the good news is you can always come back tomorrow. Four classes a day. If you're looking for a little bit more, if you're not meeting whatever your goals are, reach out, join our Rock Your Resolution Challenge. Starts in just about two weeks. All right, keep the weight in your heels. Whew, slowly, gently roll yourself all the way up. Inhale those arms up overhead. Look up, find a big stretch. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. One more time, bend those knees. Take a big belly breath in, reach up. Ah, exhale, reach out, find the stretch that feels right for you on the way down. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Yay, that's all the time we had today, y'all. Had a perfect time for a great stretch. I hope that you had an amazing workout. Oh my gosh, I look like I had a great workout. So <laughs> I hope you feel the same. Would love to see your sweaty selfies. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy new year, everyone. Congratulations.